Sup, girl? I've been posting a lot on Instagram today, so kind of neglected y'all. We're gonna head outside and get in the hot tub because I've been with the garden all day, with the exception of working out. Who is, who is she? You know what? I've just been hypothesizing, and I came inside because my mineral sunscreen was clogged up from last year, so I had to run it under hot water, pro tip, and then scrub it. And anyway, I've been hypothesizing that the reason that I'm just so obsessed with the outdoors, and many of us, just generally everybody loves it, right? Because it's fun in the sun, yada, yada. But those of us that had to go through the gray days of winter, it's like, you've arrived. <laughs> like we finally get to enjoy it. And I refuse to waste a day. So as long as I'm feeling good and life is, you know, living, then I'm gonna be outside, okay? I'm about to get, hopefully not burnt this time. That's why I got the sunscreen. So hopefully nice and tanned up and I'm gonna finish reading The Right Move. Cause I put it down like a few weeks ago and I never picked it up, but it was a good book. So I'm gonna try to finish it in the hot tub without passing out. <laughs> I'll link this swimsuit. I got it in XXL, it's full coverage. It comes with straps too, but obviously I'm just not wearing them. Hi, good morning, honey bunny. We're, you and I are heading to Target. I just dropped the kids off and um, we were late because it's raining. Way more kids are obviously not taking their bikes today. I'm sure probably none of them are. Um, so, when the weather's bad, the parent pickup line or drop off line, whatever the parent line, it's longer. And today we were a little bit late because I was trying to get myself put together mildly. <laughs> and um, it worked out because I couldn't even get in the line. I was close enough for the kids to like safely exit the vehicle um, into the parking lot. However, I was also far enough out that I didn't have to go through the line. So the car next to me left and then I was like, oh, all right, peace. So that was like, uh, that kind of worked out. So we're gonna go to Target. It's pouring outside, which is why I have a hat on because I, I mean, I have shorts on, right? It's not like it's cold, but I washed my hair yesterday and I blow dried it with this new um, round brush blow dryer thing because I don't remember if I told you guys, but my Dyson has been on the fritz, bro. Like I have the Dyson air wrap and it, keeps shutting off and my mom was like oh I had that too because I had gotten her one a few years ago I think hers is a little bit newer I don't know if it's any different but she was like it's because the filter needed to like be cleaned out and I was like oh okay so I was like cleaning the filter out no I don't know if I, it's just ever since I've had the extensions and I have to use it longer so normally I'm like literally max using it 10 minutes max like my hair did not take very long to dry and now I'm using it 45 minutes to an hour and it's shutting off constantly. It's, I'm like, what? I'm switching outlets. I'm cleaning the filter every three freaking minutes. I was gonna say seconds, but like to not be dramatic, literally every two to three minutes I was cleaning the filter and there's nothing to clean. And so it was annoying. And Amika sent me this one. Okay, I'll post, post a picture of it right here. They sent me this one. It was just like a PR package. And I was like, well, this is a good opportunity for me to test it. So I washed my hair yesterday and I tested it. That thing is great. And it's huge. The barrel is huge. You can't like remove the heads and yada, yada. But I don't do that with my Dyson anyway. I exclusively use the round brush on my Dyson. Occasionally I use the flat brush, but I don't need it. The round brush is really all I need. And that thing is fabulous. And then I go on Sephora and I see that they have the whole blow dry package. So some of the products, which I also use the products that they had sent. Those were great too. Like I've never used um, a dry shampoo like that that I actually like as much as I like that one. Cause it doesn't like leave that nasty like white cast in your hair and it works. Like I didn't have any oil for it to suck up but it, it helped in volumizing. So that was perfect. Anyway, the whole freaking thing with the products is a hundred bucks and I'm like sold. Like if they hadn't sent it to me a hundred percent, I would have been buying that knowing how good it is. So. I don't know, dog. I never tried the Revlon one. I tried to, but every time I tried to go um, buy it, it was always sold out. I never tried that one, and I don't think I will now just because the Amica one is good, and it's like a wonderful alternative. Let's compare some blow dryers. This one I spent $10 billion on, and she doesn't even work 90% of the time anymore. Dyson never loses suction. Uh, I know that's a vacuum girl, but 
This one sucks too. You can't tell I'm mad that I spent so much money on that thing and it doesn't know what it's doing with its life. So Amika sent this one over. It's the Hair 2.0 Blow Dryer Brush. This is a fraction of the price. You can get it at Sephora. And while we're at it, they sent a detangling primer as well called the Wizard. So we're gonna go ahead and saturate because this does have a heat protectant up to 450 degrees. This isn't like sponsored or anything. It's not about bashing the Dyson, but bro, $600 and you can't do your one job. She's cute. She's a nice little velvety soft. She's got a big giant head. Head. Like this is a really big head and then we seem to have off fan one and two my hair is completely soaked I literally just got out of the shower, so we'll see how long this takes bit wet still but that's still about 10-15 minutes less that I've been spending with the Dyson. I love how big the actual barrel is like it gets a lot more surface area at once. I just looked it up and Sephora has a whole like blow dry bundle that comes with it for a hundred dollars. If I didn't already have it I'd be buying it again <laughs> because look at her. But anyway we're heading now to Target. That's just the whole reason I have my hat on. We were just listening to some Disney um, tunes and it reminded me that we wanted to go see a play and I forgot, like, where did May go? You know, where did May go? It's like gone. And I forgot that Aladdin is only in Chicago until, I mean, babe, I'm speeding. Was this necessary? No blinkers. I guess we're both gonna hang out at the red light together. I forgot that Aladdin was only gonna be in Chicago until the 28th of May. So I'm thinking maybe now next Friday we'll go see Aladdin. So I'm gonna look up tickets while I park over here and then I'm gonna give Lewis a call. Actually, I can't call him right now. He'll call me. He usually calls me when he's on his way home. He'll call me. And I think we're gonna go get tickets to go see Aladdin. I really wanna see Hercules. I see that there's a version of Hercules playing. If y'all are in New Jersey, there's a version of Hercules it's not a Broadway musical, but it does look like, you know, they have some money, like some, not money, like not the actors. You know what I'm saying? Like they put some money into it is what I'm saying. And I think it's in New Jersey. So if you're a Hercules fan, check that out because it's not touring. And I don't know, you know, what the quality necessarily is, but it looked good from what I saw the articles I was reading this morning. Um, I would love to see a Hercules musical. I don't know if there's one slated. Like, I know right now Lion King and Aladdin are touring, so I don't know. So we have these strawberries that, like, are just not being eaten. I don't know why. They're totally fine, but we're going to go ahead and make these into, like, a jelly or a jam or I don't know what you want to call it but I'm just gonna dump them all in there and then add sugar and lemon juice and then kind of boil it down for a bit and then throw it in the fridge and we're gonna see how this turns out I mean normally it's really easy normally we just eat it eat them hot like I'll do this and then I'll just you know put it on pancakes or put it inside of crepes or something like that I've never actually tried to let it settle in the fridge but I'm kind of interested to see how this goes. I assume that's kind of how you make jam and jelly. I did buy, uh, that'll just need some time. I bought these jars at Target just now. So these are, they're just kind of soaking, but these are actually pink. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> they're pink bowl jars, um, mason jars. So we'll see. I'll store it in there, see how long it keeps in the fridge. This is after like three minutes or so on um, just medium heat. I'm just kind of smushing them a little bit with a spoon, but this is still just the strawberries. I'm about to add some sugar and then let it kind of slowly just kind of simmer up for like, I don't know, probably like 10 minutes. Okay, this is about how much it made. I ended up adding the juice of two lemons and I would say about three quarters of a cup of sugar, which obviously you don't have to add sugar, but it's gonna <laughs> make it a little sweeter. Um, you could probably do this with like a substitute, like erythritol, erythritol, or uh, what's the other one? I forgot what the other one, whatever, whatever sugar substitute if you use one. But I just wanna show you the consistency before I cut this off. So it's definitely very drippy. I ended up using the immersion, bl immersion blender, emulsifier, immersion blender, whatever, the stick thing with the thing on the end, immersion blender. I think that's what it's called. I ended up using that in the pan just to kind of get some of the chunks out. If it was just for me, I would leave the chunks in because I kind of like it chunky, you know? But 
I guess this will make it a little bit more spreadable. So I'm going to let it cool down. And then I just, I put the excess right here and I'm going to give this one to my parents. Um, so I'm going to let it cool down because it's super hot in the jar right now. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge and hopefully by tonight it'll be thickened up and jelly or jam or I don't know what the difference is, but it will be a spreadable substance you can put on, you know, pancakes or toast or whatever. Could it come back and told you? Let's go! Good job! Good job, guys. You know what? I really, I enjoy the runs where uh, it's not all on a pass ball. You know? I feel like we should run count though. I feel like I forgot to update you guys on this. Um, this is what we have left. I, yeah, everyone loved it. Um, it. It's not as thick as regular like jelly. Like look, you can still kind of pour it. Um, but I don't think that really matters. It's still so good. Like this is literally just plain bread. I don't even toast it or anything, but it's so good. Cheese and filling strawberry, and now I'm gonna make buttercream. She made strawberry filling. It's pink. It has a very similar taste strawberry. to this, not the same, but it has a bad taste. I'm sorry, mom, but it's so good. I don't know. I like this. I haven't tried her thing. I wonder if adding more sugar would have made it a little bit thicker or less lemon juice. But the amount of lemon juice is what makes me love it so much. Look, it's so good, it's so citrusy. Add lemon juice and then more sugar. <laughs> Try those butter. I'm entering my. Uh, my jelly, my jellies and jams phases of life, and I'm so excited about it. Nala made another cake. This one's so cute. <laughs> it took way long though. She made the little chicks. Because I had tried twice, yeah, and it she... wasn't fondant, but like, I'm dying. It, it's so cute. I love it. <laughs> Cottage car and everything. It's so cute. And it's like pink on the inside with it a chip. Is... With a strawberry filling with cream cheese mm -hmm. that she made. We'll, we'll cut it open in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> and I'm making mushrooms. Not nearly as cute. Roxy. Roxy. Here she comes. <laughs> What's up, girl? Were you sleeping up there? Not much for stranger danger when people walk in, are you? Uh, just kidding. She's a killer. Don't don't come to my brother's house. She'll mess you up. Right, Rox? Come on, let's go outside. There you go. Go ahead. You're good. You're not, you don't have to pee, do you? Might as well chill outside for a bit, though, huh? All right, scoot over. Go. There you go. Let me sit down. All right. What's crack like? I'm actually at Jason's house, clearly. Keeping an eye on Roxy uh, for a bit, a few days here. They had to unexpectedly go out of town. So, yeah, we're just hanging out. Um, I, you know what? I don't mind taking care of a dog. I feel bad every time I get a leaver, even though like, you know, we're just across the street. I have been coming over like maybe three times a day. Um, gone on some walks. I'm not used to walking. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm used to walking. <laughs> I'm not used to walking with a dog. It's 12.30, we're gonna go to Target because one of the kids, teachers is pregnant and they're having like some at school baby shower her situation thing and both of the kids want to give her a book with you know they want to write in it and give it to her and I won't let them give her the ones that we actually like their books from when they were actual kids so I'm gonna go repurchase them um so that they can just give her a new one of their favorite books but you know what I mean I'm not gonna give you like my kids book uh, and yeah, I gotta go do that. And then I really need some more dirt. Wow, my voice really carries back here because it's a, it's a different sitch. It's a little more open. <laughs> Mine's like blocked off and it has a freaking road behind it. So it's so loud. We're gonna get some dirt too because I need a little bit more soil. My potatoes are starting to grow a little bit and I wanna cover them some more. And I had like world's tiniest strawberry this morning, this big, so little. And I could tell it was gonna go bad soon um so i just popped it off and i ate it and that strawberry tasted like the most strawberryest flavor it tasted like what strawberries are supposed to taste like the ones you get at the store the ones i get at the store taste like hard water like they don't taste like anything and i was like bruh 
that that was so delicious like i cannot wait i can't wait rocking a pimple today no makeup because what's the point it just keeps rubbing off and everything keeps getting in my eyes and my eyes have been on fire for days from all the sunscreen and what is she eating oh that reminds me i'm gonna take a picture of her snacks because i just feel so bad when i leave so i've been giving her one every time like one little i think they're called milk bones i'm gonna take a picture and get them another pack um i think they're coming home i think my brother and his kids are coming home um tomorrow i think but either way might as well buckle in in case we have her for a few more days <laughs> she really is such a good dog <laughs> hey girl just got back from oh no where's my box cutter ah i think i took it to the basement and i never brought it back up all right time to move then <laughs> uh just got back from target i'm gonna show you guys what i got but I had a couple of packages at my door and I have no idea what they are. This one, I feel like I should know what it is. So it's a relatively big box, but I'm gonna be real with you. I have no idea what's inside this box. There was a guy walking uh, when I pulled in and I grabbed all the bags in one hand and then I grabbed my purse and then I had to like close the garage door and whatever and he was walking by my garage and in my brain I was like composing this whole scenario of like well what if he just followed me in well what if he just snuck into the garage just now when I couldn't even see well, what if he's in here and I'm not even locking this door and my hands are full what if he just sneaks up behind me now that the garage door is closed seen enough television to know always check your surroundings and like I, I did check my surroundings I saw him y'all didn't say what to do after you see him make a lot of eye contact let him know you mean business I doubt it Ah, it's from Lancome. Oh, you know what I got today is the special edition Happy Place by Emily Henry. And I got two of them. And I, you have to purchase them separately. So I must have... I just don't think I ordered it twice. I think that was a mistake. And they probably charged me twice. And I don't think I did that. Um, Who knows? Ooh, Lash Bar. Apparently I'm on Lancome's PR. Which makes sense because I'm on L'Oreal's. And they are, in fact... The same company. Well, same parent company at least. Oh wait, I think I did know I was on this. Oh, they sent mascaras. These are all mascaras. What? <laughs> they sent these five mascaras. That was really nice. I'll have to try them out. I have been trying new mascaras. I've been using that one from Kush. Or not from Kush. <laughs> from Milk Makeup. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, spend too much time on this. I've never used them, so. Not, you know, there's no review or anything to be given. And then this is the questionable box. I have no idea what this is, but I really feel like I should know what it is. Max, Max Warehouse Display Way. Oh, wow. I would have never guessed this is what was in this box. <laughs> Giant caster thing, you know, because I have a two foot um, potato bag out there. And I, unfortunately I have two of them in hindsight, okay, because hindsight's 2020. In hindsight, it probably would have behooved me to just invest in a big pot with wheels already because this, I think, was 50 bucks because of how big it is. I got it on Amazon. Um, I think I need two, right? So this is perfect because it's a circle, it's very cute, whatever. But $54, I think it costs, that's not very cute. So I think I might try to get a furniture, you know, those little like furniture mover the little pallet looking things they're usually square um i think i might try to get one of those because i have two big grow bags one has potatoes one has strawberries and they both need to be up off the deck those are the last two things actually sitting on my deck oh crap except i'm gonna fill up two more pot i gotta order two more sets i refuse to just have them all sitting on the deck for the next six months or whatever like five four months whatever i don't want them to like rot through because this deck was it was not cheap and I'm gonna be devastated if I ruin it knowingly. So, we got little casters. We're gonna put our potatoes on here. And um, for now, I'm gonna put it down and see if the cats wanna skateboard. Think about it, baby. Look at it. It looks fun, doesn't it, Crushy? That's all you. All right, let me show you what I got from Target. Well, obviously regular stuff. Eggs, turkey, tomatoes, cream cheese, carrots, cucumber, oat milk, chameleon cold brew, lactose-free milk by Fairlife. Baggers at Target are getting <laughs> worse and worse. Yes, I did go to self-checkout. Sourdough, but it's not crusty, so 
I don't like that. I like a crusty sourdough. Seaweed, because we finally ran out. Powdered sugar, regular sugar. She used it all up this weekend making that cake. Sponge Daddy brushes, which are some of my favorite brushes, or sponges, sorry. Milk bone dog treats. <laughs> those are for Roxy. That's the kind they're, uh, they were already giving her, so I'm just gonna put the couple left in there and then leave those over there. This I was intrigued by because this is the Scrub Daddy Power like power paste, but this is the power erase gel. It was right next to the power paste. The power paste works super well cleaning your oven, cleaning like really stuck on stuff on um, various pans and stuff. Like it's really, really, really good. Uh, but this one says that you can use it. It's a universal cleaner and you can use it on fabric. So it says uh, kitchen textile furniture, which I like, bathroom windows, floors, literally everything, right? So these come in like little, it's like a little tub and it comes with a scrub mommy, I believe. Yeah. Oh, okay, so my other one actually, you sit it inside. Like it sits like this inside of it and you put the lid on and that's how you store it. This one clearly you do it separately. It's just a white paste or gel. <laughs> the scrub mommy is a bow. Cute, what a little cutie. So I have this because I kind of want to scrub my couches and if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, well, just add it to my list of failures. Nala does our counters, so she requested Mrs. Myers because we're out of this and I've been using the method cleaner and she just, she doesn't like the method cleaner and whatever, you know what I mean? I like this one. Uh, I did get compassion flower, whatever that means, but the peony scent smells good. The mom's scent is my favorite scent, but you can only get it around the fall. A little extension cord. I spent way, way too much time in the extension cord areas. Like, which one makes the most sense? How many feet do I really need? Uh, $8, $12? This is an outrageous price difference between these two. Why does a 15 foot one cost less than the 12 foot one? Riddle me that. I don't know, I don't know. But this is for the basement. And uh, cornstarch. And then, oh, so I was only able to find one of the books that the kids wanted. This is the one I was talking about. It's called Press Here. We call it the dot book. Um, but this is Press Here. This was one of Nala's absolute favorite books as a kid. And then the one that Jaden wanted was Skippy John Jones and they didn't have it. So while I was in the aisle, I just ordered it on Amazon. So that'll be coming tomorrow. And then this I've heard so many good things about. It is YA. Um, and while I do like spice in my books, I don't need super heavy, intense spice. I don't need you to describe every little thing. I just like to know that something happened, right? So this is a YA um, romance and I've heard really good things about it. So I'm hoping that the YA portion of it is in the spice factor and less in the actual characters. Um, I don't like reading about like 17 year olds. I, I might be, that might be what this is about. I didn't look it up. Uh, yes, flash forward 10 years, period. That's what I need. I need you to be a little bit older. So we'll see how I end up liking that one. And then these I thought were really cute. So these are hand towels and they're for like the bathroom. I mean, you can use them in the kitchen. But I liked them because um, the colors are like a nice little muted color. They're different, but they go together. So it's four hand towels. I'm gonna put those in the basement one, in the basement bathroom. Because right now I have kitchen towels down there and they're just made a little bit different. They're like a little thinner. And then I bought a blue set as well. And I'm gonna put these ones in my bathroom up here. I really wanna paint the bathroom up here. Nothing fancy, just like white, gray, blue, maybe a light blue. Oh, oh, maybe a light blue, but then everything's always gonna have to kind of be blue. That's okay, maybe a light blue. We'll think about it, we'll figure that out. And then I got a couple of Sunbomb chapsticks, one for the car and one for my purse. And I have my absolute favorite chapsticks ever, which have SPF, they're really big. One's by Clinique and one is by Fresh. They're both about $30. And it's just, that that price for a chapstick just doesn't serve me. I've been a lot more like financially conscious this year and I don't, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Even these, I was like, these are $4 each. I said, but okay, Sarah, we're taking baby steps. We're taking baby steps and $4 each is better than the $30 each I was paying before. Will these last as long? I do not know, um, but we're gonna find out. I just like to have SPF on my mouth every single day. All right, I gotta put it all away, Oop, and I gotta leave in a couple of minutes, so uh, I'm just gonna sit in the car and work. So I'll check you in a little bit, okay? Also, in case anyone asks where this shirt is from, it came from the actual concert, so I don't think I have a link, but one of you guys said that if you go on the Elton John concert like site, you can get merch there, and so that's where the shirt would be if you're interested. It came up a lot last time I wore it. Good morning. I don't normally start my vlogs before I go downstairs and take the kids to school. This is what the cats do in the morning. Crash be laid out, bro. Laid all the way out. Uh, it makes it hard to make the bed because I don't want to move them. 
but today oh my goodness my um cousin's coming over it's gonna say my mom what is on your foot <gasps> okay gotta go follow up on that but um my cousin's gonna come over and he's going to i for sure he's gonna put in a laundry sink he's gotta go pick one up but we're just gonna get like a basic betty one from home depot and then i think i'm just gonna buy a washboard you know like i saw the ones that they look cool they're like really big really deep and um they have a whole side that is like a washboard so you could actually you know try to scrub a stain out or something but i don't know they were like six hundred dollars and i was like this feels like too much for something that is not i'm probably rarely gonna use so he's just gonna grab one at home depot i think they're like 200 bucks 250 or something and he's gonna come and install it let me show you where he's going to put it I'm currently using my uh, laundry room, so pardon the noise. But we have the little hookups. We've had them, I mean, what, we've lived here two and a half years now, or a little over two years, and we obviously never hooked anything up here. Do -do -do -do. So he's just gonna stick it right here. I think it's just gonna be a shaker cabinet, so it'll just match those. These are so far, I can't even reach them. Like, I, they're useless. Like I said, I'm doing laundry. These things I thought were so cool. I showed you guys when I got them, but they're from um, Target. They're just magnetic. So the whole thing just sticks on there with a magnet. And that too, it's just stuck on here with a magnet. And it's cool, you know, if you need to just throw something up to, to dry it off or whatever. But yep, yeah, so this is our before and then he'll, he'll stick it in here and I don't know. Maybe we'll do a backsplash. Probably should do it beforehand. Whatever, we probably won't. It is what it is. I don't I don't really care. I do need a paint in here though. Which again probably would have been smart to do it before the sink, but what are you gonna do? What are you oh my gosh. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Ooh. I'm in a good mood. Whoa. <laughs> Light bright. Light bright. I'm in a good mood. I've been stressed out about some stuff lately. It's been really weighing on me. And instead of like praying for the problem to go away or the solution etc i just i started praying to like feel differently <laughs> throughout the process and i feel like it's just it's working out everything's gonna be fine sarah everything's gonna be fine historically everything has always worked out even when things are not the way you want them to be and go a different direction than what you thought was right it's not wrong whatever happens happens for a reason etc 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 Mm. here's what happened today <laughs> uh adrian was gonna come over he texted me a little bit ago and he was like hey can't come over today he like you know we chatted and um in my brain i'm like cool that's totally fine he, you know it's totally fine here's what i'm thinking okay i'm kind of thinking maybe i should check out wayfair for like a different sink and he's gonna come over tomorrow and i was like well if he comes over tomorrow and and i don't have the sink yet like then what's he gonna do you know there's another project we're working on the basement project so i'm like oh he can do the basement project instead and i'm gonna see if wayfair has a sink because i don't know i'm just i'm gonna check it out but what i was thinking is that like isn't this a good opportunity to go paint the laundry room i had zero intention of painting today i have not but ton of paint downstairs because when I purchased paint for the basement, which I shouldn't have done for the most part around here, I don't know about anywhere else, but if you're hiring painters, let them get the paint because they get a discount typically at like Sherwin Williams or where, you know, wherever they're giving the paint, they get the discount. My brother gets the discount too. So I've used him before, but they get the discount and they get the right amount of paint. I got way too much paint, way too much paint. Okay. So I have a bunch of the paint from the basement left over and what's it going to do? What's it there? Raise your hand. If you have paint in your house, just sitting there, just waiting for the day. Well, I have a bunch, okay? So I have lots of different colors in the basement. So I think I'm gonna take one of the light grays from the basement and I'm just gonna paint the laundry room that color, like no big deal. I don't really care what color it is. I just don't want it to be the flat color that the builders put in there, which was city loft, but it's in a flat city loft. It's not like a, what's it called when they, it's not like eggshell, is that the other one? Or is eggshell the flat, whatever. I, you don't want flat paint because it gets all, gross and whatever so we're gonna get that i think i'm just gonna head upstairs and paint um i'm gonna put together my niece's birthday gifts first it's so funny so i have a bunch of nieces and nephews and two of them okay they really like sharks and dinosaurs and stuff and like marvel and whatever and um the other day i was sitting on mother's day i was sitting with my two 
two-year-old niece. So she'll be turning three at the end of the summer. And she was sitting there and her sister is turning five. So they're having a fifth birthday party this weekend. And I was like, what does she want, you know? And I let the five-year-old come and look at my Target app and she started adding stuff to the cart. Well, then eventually she's distracted and she leaves. Girl, the two-year-old came over and she was like, let me tell you what I want. I will take a Spider-Man suit. I will take this toy. How about two of those toys? And then she's just adding them to the cart. And by the end of it, she could add it herself and then she even checked out. So I have all of their gifts here and I'm gonna put them together. I'm just gonna give the little girl her stuff early because literally who cares? I don't know if they're having a birthday party for her or not. Well, I don't care, but she picked it out herself and I'm just so excited to like watch her open it even though it's not her birthday. Um, I'm excited to watch her open it. And I was like, can you pick out a bag so I can like put your your gifts, this is the stuff she picked out. She wanted like a unicorn phone and she picked out a Spider-Man suit. And I was like, can you pick out a bag? Um, you know, like a gift bag so I can put your stuff in it. And she picked out this. <laughs> and I'm like, well, it's not gonna fit in there, girl. But you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm just gonna like put this in here and then like stick this on here and maybe like put like a ribbon around it. You know what I mean? Who cares, right? Like the kid does not care. They don't want you to spend $10 on a bag like I did right here on the shark bag. This is all from Target. They don't want you to spend $10 on the bag. They want you to spend $10 on their present. <laughs> is it gonna fit? I don't know if it's even gonna fit. But my niece picked out this one. Well, they're both my nieces, but um, Lily, she's the older one. She picked out this super pretty Elsa costume. Isn't it nice? It's so nice. <laughs> she picked out two. The first one was $15 and I was like, go ahead girl, put a toy in the cart. Cause that's not very much so let's go ahead and add a toy so then she adds this toy this was like 50 bucks and then she goes and she's like flipping through and she's like oh i like this one and it was this one and this one was like 50 or 60 dollars and i was like well let's do it then so it's so pretty it's gonna look so cute on her she's a big uh, elsa fan so i'm gonna put all this stuff together just so i can get this box out of here because our garbage day is coming up and then i think i'm gonna go to the basement see what we have as far as uh, brushes and whatever whatever and then I think you and I are gonna go upstairs put on a little audiobook and we're gonna paint because if not now then when am I gonna move the washer and dryer <laughs> negative because I simply cannot they're way too heavy um so I guess I'm just gonna paint around them and literally who cares like who's gonna move my washer and dryer and tell me something you know me <laughs> I, in two years when I like have to move them for some reason I'm gonna be like girl you don't even paint behind them Ugh, what's wrong with you a lot is wrong with me, future Sarah, okay? What's wrong with you? Hopefully not too much. Got the goods. We're gonna go with Gauntlet Gray, which is actually the dark color from downstairs. I was gonna go light, like a light gray, like I have literally everywhere else in the house, but screw it, right? Who cares? It's just a little room. Oh, if you paint it dark, it's gonna feel smaller, but it's literally not gonna be smaller, so I don't really care. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna spare you guys the whole painting montage <laughs> it's 1 30 hopefully i'm done with this literally hopefully i'm done with it by 1 like because i'm sure it's gonna need probably two coats and i don't i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna do the whole behind the washer and dryer situation wish me luck y'all because i forgot that you can see <laughs> so i'm gonna have to be able to paint some of it at least oh yeah we'll see coco's got my back right girl right Check it out. I'm done. That actually took me forever. And as I was cleaning up just now, RIP my AirPod. It fell out of my ear when I bent over. Um, it's still drying, so it looks a little cockeyed, but you know what? I like it. I like it. I wonder if you can still hear me through it. Um, yeah, I just I was just doing touch-ups, so the paint is not like even right now, but it's fine. I managed to get most of it behind, you know, these things. But whatever, I think it's gonna look it's gonna look just fine. It's fine. I, it's fine. <laughs> this is not fine. I don't think this is gonna make it. I don't know. Water? What, what's gonna happen if I run it underwater? Who the hell drops their AirPod and paint, bro? Come on. Okay, well, for the second, it, it works. Who's to say, though? Maybe it's throwing my audio off? I don't know. I just cleaned it off and ran it underwater. <laughs> If it stops working, no one's going to be surprised. Oh, and it's 2.13, so it took me a little longer than I was hoping, but I feel like I did a better job behind the washer and dryer than I thought I was going to do. There you go. Sorry, I just I had to wipe the screen. 
Um, but I really need to get out of here. So we're just gonna like clean this up, put the litter box back, etc., etc., And we're gonna get the heck out of here. Now that it's darker in here, I feel like we need a different light. So I don't know, what do you think I should put in here? Just like a bigger, brighter light or like something else? Is it just, is this fine? Should I just put a light over where the laundry sink's gonna be? <gasps> should I put a mirror over the laundry sink and really make it like a little vanity? Not that you need one, but do you need one? You don't need one. You don't need a vanity in here. But then I can add a little light. No, you're doing too much. Don't do it. It's fine. Maybe we'll switch it. Maybe we won't, who cares? What do you need light for? You're doing laundry. It's fine. It's literally fine. I'm just talking to myself now, y'all. That was the end of today's vlog. We are actually officially caught up to real time. I know by the time you see this, you'll be a couple days behind again. But in this moment, this is the last active, you know, stuff that I have. <laughs> this is what I filmed. So we do have a fun-filled weekend ahead. We are going to go see Aladdin. So I will be showing you guys that. And then I ended up getting a last-minute job, which I'm super grateful for. And I will be attending the Sueños Music Festival in the city and that'll be exciting i had no intention of attending but um now i have to like throw together a festival fit and i have no idea how i'm gonna do that i'm gonna end up probably looking like a little basic buddy because i can only be who i am you know what i mean i can only be who i am so that's the plan plus we have a softball game plan so it, it'll be a fun weekend but Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I have sensed this. I painted the bathroom yesterday, so um, it is dried and I think it looks really good. And I'm still on the fence about the whole, should I just put a mirror in there? Maybe some funky, maybe like a reason to go to World Market and check out their little funky mirrors they have. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what it looks like once the sink is in. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.